Okay, good morning class. So at this point we're looking at quadratic equations and inequalities. Um, we need to look at exercise, the examples for exercise 2.15. The examples for exercise 2.15. We spoke about in our last lesson the nature of the roots. Um, if you have any uh, problems or you need more explanation or further explanation on the exercises, please refer to this description box below. Okay, so this lesson was done already. So we just need to do the examples and record it. Okay, so this is the quadratic equations. Examples for exercise 2.15. Now 2.14 speaks about drawing the graphs and all of those things. Um, so I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to go straight into 2.15. And it's on page 15. Okay. Simultaneous equations. This is the example on page. Example 1 on page uh, 49. Okay. Right, so we're looking at simultaneous equations. Let's take this out then. Alright, so example one. It says solve the following equation simultaneously. Now in grade 10, if you are in my grade 10 class, or if you are having a problem with the grade 10 simultaneous equations, you can refer to the grade 10 simultaneous equations in that playlist, paper one playlist of grade 10. Okay. What we did was, there's two ways of doing um, the simultaneous equations. It's either by elimination or by substitution. I always um, did the, uh, the, the equations by substitution method. The reason for that is because I knew this was coming, the section in grade, in grade um, 11. So that is why I always tended to do, to do it using some uh, substitution method. But I have shown you how to do it using the elimination method for those of you going to go to university next year or oh, in uh, New Dunland School. They, they need elimination method for three or four variable simultaneous equations. But anyway, so here we have uh, two equations. We have y minus x is equal to 2 and x squared plus xy equals y squared minus 4. Okay? So we have two equations. If there's two unknowns, normally we need two equations. If there's three unknowns, we need three equations. Four unknowns, we need four equations and so on. Okay. That's why the elimination is going to be better for three or more unknowns. Okay. But importantly here, as we did before, we're going to either make x or y the subject of the formula. As you can see here, that it's going to be easier to make y the subject of the formula in equation one. If you're going to make x the subject of the formula, no problem. Okay. However, if we look at the second equation, it's going to be very difficult to make x or y the subject of the formula. Can you see that, people? Okay. So let's look at the first one. So from equation one, from equation one, where am I getting the one from? They listing that as equation one. From equation one, I took the x, taking the x over, I have y is equal to x plus two, and this is our equation three. So what do I do with that? I now substitute, if I see y in equation 2, I replace that with x plus 2. So what is the, the, the new equation now? Once I do the substitution, so we're going to substitute equation 3 into equation 2. Now for those of you who likes writing and all of these things and changing your colors, and right, you can write this here. You'll see in the next example, I'm not going to write it. Okay, I have to make arrows. Okay. So... That is now going to read x squared plus x into y is x plus 2 equals x plus 2 squared. Minus 4. Okay. I'm glad you're here. Otherwise, I would have made a mistake. Okay. So, what do I do now? Get rid of the brackets. Binomial squared is going to be x squared plus x squared plus 2x is equal to first term squared is x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 4. 
So what do I do now? I simplify that can cancel. That cancels. As you can see, it's a quadratic equation. So I've got x squared, 2x, minus 4x is negative 2x. Okay. So what do I see now? What can happen in pursuit of solving for x? I can factorize. Take out the common factor of x. So it's x into x minus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 or x is equal to Remember, simultaneous equations I'm going to solve for x and y. Now we're going to substitute x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 into equation 3. You can substitute it into equation 1 or equation 2. However, I'm going to go rather with equation 3 since we already have y as the subject of the formula. Can you see that? So if I go with that, there's y as being the subject of the formula there. You now that y is equal to 0, x is now 0, 0 plus 2, which is 2, or on the other end, if x is, my, if x is 2, I'm going to put 2 now there, y is equal to 2 plus 2 in the place of x, and I'm going to give me an answer of 4. Okay, now the answer there, of course, is x is equal to 0, while so y is equal to Two. On the other hand, if x equal to two, y will be equal to four. And you can test it. You can substitute this values back into the original equation to see if the equation is balanced. Okay, if it's correct. The sum is normally worth between five and seven marks. So I would suggest you you learn your thing here. Okay. Let's look at example two. In example two. In example 2, we are told, solve the following equation simultaneously. Simultaneous means at the same time. Simultaneously, y is equal to 2x mi uh, minus 1, and x and y is equal to 10. So what we do is we say, firstly, y is equal to 2x minus 10, and we call that equation 1, and we've got x, y is equal to 10, and we call this equation 2. Yes. So, um, the first step is, of course, to first get x or y the subject of the formula. If you look at equation 1, what do we notice? y is already the subject of the formula. If we look at equation 2 and you want to make x the subject of the formula, it will be x is equal to 10 over y. We make y the subject of the formula is going to be x equal to, or y is equal to 10 over x, or x equal to 10 over y. Okay, we wouldn't really want to do that because we're going to go into uh, fractions, which are going to make it a bit more complex, okay? As we know, fractions is not our favorite, okay? So, because y is already the subject in, in equation 1, I'm not going to, to manipulate that formula with that equation. So, if I see a y, I replace it with 2x minus 1. So, there is a y. As I said, I'm going to draw arrows from numbers. So, we've got x into 2x minus 1 is equal to p. Again, it's a quadratic equation. Get rid of the, the brackets. It's going to be 2x squared minus x equals 10. I bring the 10 over, it becomes negative 10 is equal to 0. Now, at this point, we now to use the quadratic formula. If you are having problems factorizing a trinomial, do not factorize anymore. Don't keep yourself brave. Just use the quadratic formula. Okay? But I now have to factorize a trinomial. Come on. So let's go. So it's 2x, x, uh, 5, and 2. That's going to give you 4 minus 5. Okay? So 2x minus 5 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 5 over 2. Or x plus 2 is equal to 0, x is negative 2. Okay? Now remember, they want you to solve for y as well. So what do we do with this? We substitute that back into equation 1. Okay, I'm substituting into equation 1, y is equal to, in the first case, 2 times 5 over 2 minus 1, which is 5 is 4 there, or y is equal to 2 times negative 2 minus 1, which is negative 5. So if x is 5 over 2, so if y, yeah, x is 5 over 2, then y is 4, 
and if x is negative 2, y is negative 5. Okay. I think that's fairly simple. If you're having issues with this here, please refer to the description box below. You can find last year's full lesson um, with further um, examples from the exercise that is in that video there. Okay, but the idea is to keep these videos much shorter. Just so we're just doing the examples in these videos this year. Okay, looking at example three, it says solve the following equation simultaneously. They then listed equation 1 and equation 2 already. So from equation 1, we're going to make x or y the subject of the formula. So what do you think we're going to make the subject of the formula here? x, yes. So x is equal to 3y minus 2. This equation, 3. Again, for those of you who like to write there, from equation 1, da 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 da. No? Now we're going to substitute equation 3 into equation 2. By doing that, if I see a x, I replace it with 3y minus 2. Okay, so it's going to be y squared minus 3y minus 2 all squared plus 2y into 3y minus 2. I know some of you are going to say, but the x is there. So you want to write 3y minus 2y, that is also fine. However, remember when you multiply that 2 in, that y must also be multiplied in. That's why I write it together, so that I don't get confused. So I say it equals 2y. So what do I do now? I sort out the binomial square and I multiply that story out. So it's going to give you y squared minus open brackets. Y is open bracket, more than one term following a negative sign. So 3y all squared is going to be 9y squared minus 3y times 2 is going to be 6y times 2 is going to be 12y plus the last term squared is 4 plus 6y squared minus 4y equals 2y. Okay, people, if you can't do the trinomial, the binomial square in your head, again, write it out twice and you multiply it out. Okay, it's not worth the market I will be losing here if it doesn't work out. Okay, well, you made a mistake. Okay, who's this now? <laughs> what? Let's get rid of the brackets. That's going to give you y squared minus 9y squared plus 12y minus 4 plus 6y squared minus 4y minus 2y is equal to 0. Alright? So y squared minus 9y squared minus 8y squared plus 6y squared is going to give you minus 2y squared. Okay? 12y minus 4y Minus 2y is 6y. Is that correct? Yes. And then minus 4 is on its own. Again, at this point, you can use your quadratic equation. Okay? And I'm going to factorize using um, trinomial factorization here. So I'm going to divide by 2, negative 2 first. That's going to give you y squared minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. The trinomial here y and y, 2 and 1. With those that's going to use the um, quadratic equation, remember, when you solve for y here, you must say y is equal to. Like sometimes the learner, they use the quadratic formula because it's x, they solve x most of the time, they say x is equal. So watch out here for that. So y is equal to 2 or y is equal to 1. Again, if you use the quadratic formula here, you go straight into that answer. You don't have to write this here. Okay. So if x is equal, if y is equal to one and two, then x is equal to. So what we do is we substitute that back into equation three, and there is equation three there. So you got three times y, which is two here in this case, minus two. Three times two is six. Minus two is four. Or x is equal to um, 3 times y is now 1 uh, minus 2, which is 3 minus 2, which is 1. So if, if y is equal to 4, if y is equal to 4, no, if y is equal to 2, sorry, then x is equal to 4, and if y is equal to 1, x is equal to 1. So with this explanation, you should be able to now do 
exercise 2.15 on page 15. Okay.